So yesterday I was at a party and there was a big cake that I decided to throw into the air to record the displacement in terms of time. So the function I came up with was dt equals 20t minus 4.9t squared, where d was the displacement in meters, so how far the cake was above the ground in terms of time, which is given in seconds. So I decided to plot a bunch of points and I came up with these values. So at zero seconds, the cake was on the ground. So it the displacement from the ground was zero. And then at one second, it was 15.1 meters off the ground. At two seconds, 20.4 meters off the ground. At three seconds, 15.9 meters off the ground. And at four seconds, 1.6 meters off the ground. So the next step was to find how fast the cake was moving at each of these times. So in order to do that, what I did was find the velocity. And the velocity is the derivative of the displacement function. So v of t equals the derivative of dt, which is 20 minus 9.8t, because the derivative of a constant times a function is equal to the derivative of the constant times the derivative of the function, which is 20 here. And then over here, you multiply the constant, negative 4.9, multiply it by the exponent, which you get 9 point, negative 9.8, and using power rule, you subtract 1 from the exponent, and you get t to the power of 1. So <clears throat> I found that the velocity at 0 seconds was 20 because the cake was moving into the air, so the distance from the ground was increasing by 20 meters per second. And then at 1 second, it was increasing by 10.2 meters per second. At two seconds, 0.4. At three seconds, negative 9.4. And at four seconds, negative 19.2. So at four seconds, the displacement off the ground was decreasing by negative 19.2 meters per second, so it was it was um, getting closer to the ground. And the last thing I wanted to find was acceleration. And as we just learned, the acceleration is equal to the derivative of the velocity, which is equal to the second derivative of the displacement function. So if you take the derivative of this function over here, you get negative 9.8, which is a constant. So now we know that the second derivative for our displacement function over here is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared, which means that gravi gravity was the only force acting upon this cake because I any given point in time, the acceleration of the cake was negative 9.8. So, in other words, my cake was always, um, well, yeah, the cake was always being acted upon by gravity. And if you had a graph, which I will draw, try to draw for you over here, of the cake, it was going into the air and then it was coming back to the ground and then how far how far off the ground it was uh, how I guess how fast it was moving was 
depicted by a line that looks like this because at zero seconds it is increasing so the instantaneous rate of change is increasing so it's positive and then at, as you get to the peak of the I guess the peak of the toss it stops increasing so then the derivative is zero and then it starts coming down to the ground so the displacement decreases which makes it negative so if you take the derivative of the velocity you get a constant because at any given point in time the velocity is decreasing well the derivative of the velocity is a constant, so negative 9.8. It's decreasing at a constant rate.